This is problem 1.53 of our textbook Mechanical Vibrations from the Singular Sora, 6th edition. And we'd like to find the equivalent mass and the equivalent spring elements using the kinetic and the potential energy. First, let's look at the system in a generic position where the bell crank level is tilted and therefore the mass M goes up and the sphere that is rotating without slipping goes to the left. We want to describe the system only with one variable. We will choose x as our variable, so we have to relay x to theta and x to the displacement of the sphere, x sub s. X will be equals to L sine of theta and XS will be equals to L2 sine of theta. For small values of theta, then sine of theta becomes theta. Therefore, I can write that X is equals to L1 theta and XS is equals to L2 theta. Therefore, since I want to express any, everything in terms of X, I can say that theta is equals to X over L1 and therefore, xs, which is the displacement of the sphere, will be L2 over L1x. Remember that we said that the sphere is rotating without slipping. Therefore, we can relate the rotation of the sphere with its the displacement of the center of mass, which is the center of the sphere. And if we have theta sub s as the rotation of the sphere, we know that the point of contact behaves as the instantaneous center of rotation, and we can say that the displacement of the center is equal to theta rs, which is r being the radius of the sphere. And if I solve for theta sub s, that will be xs divided by rs, which is the radius of the sphere, and if I substitute the relation that we got for x sub s, we got L2 over L1 times x divided by R s. Now let's calculate the kinetic energy of the system. And the kinetic energy will be the kinetic energy of each of the elements. It will be the kinetic energy of the mass, m, will be the kinetic energy of the lever, and it will be the kinetic energy also of the sphere. So we have to add those three kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the mass m is just a particle, for, therefore is one half mass the velocity of the particle square. The bell crank lever is supported on a pin at all, so it only rotates, therefore the kinetic energy is one half the mass moment of inertia respect to that point the rotation or the angular velocity square. And then we have the kinetic energy of the sphere. The kinetic energy of the sphere has two elements because it's in translation of the center of mass and rotation. So it will be one half the mass of the sphere times the linear velocity square plus one half the mass moment of inertia of the center of mass times the angular velocity square. Now let's write this expression only in terms of the single variable x, which is the displacement of the mass, because we have only one degree of freedom and therefore we can express all the motions of all the elements in terms of just one variable. So we substitute a theta in terms of x over L1 and we substitute x sub s by L2 divided by L1 x and we will substitute the mass moment of inertia of the sphere, and you can find that in many tables in, or in internet, that the mass moment of inertia of a sphere is 2 over 5, the mass of the sphere times the radius of the sphere square. And now we substitute theta s dot, and we found that that's equals to L2 divided by L1 x dot, divided by Rs, and all that squared. 
Now let's rewrite our kinetic energy so that we have one half and everything in the bracket that will multiply x dot square will be m plus the mass moment of inertia of the crank lever plus m l2 square l1 over l1 square plus 2 fifth m s l2 square over l s1 square and all that multiplies x dot square and what is inside of the bracket it will be our equivalent mass of the system i will add the two last terms together because they are equal and then we have this is the equivalent mass of the system now to calculate the equivalent Experience concept we do the potential energy. For the potential energy, we will have the potential energy of both springs, and the potential energy of the weights will not be considered because we will measure x respect to the equilibrium position, and the weight will cancel out with the static deflection of the spring. And also the center of mass of the crank lever is located at point O. Therefore, the position of the weight will not change in terms of the rotation of the lever. And in the case of the sphere, we are is translated in a horizontal direction. Therefore, we don't have any change in potential energy of the weight. Therefore, we the potential energy will be described only by the potential energy of the both springs, and the first potential energy is one half k times the displacement of the mass square, which is x squared, plus the potential energy of the second spring, which will be one half k two x s squared. I will substitute x s squared by our variable x, which will be then one half k two and L2 divided by L1, x, or that square. So finally, if I rewrite the potential energy as 1 half, and in a bracket, everything that multiplies x squared will be k plus k2, L2 squared over L1 squared, and all that multiply x squared. Therefore, my equivalent constant of spring is what is in the bracket. And we were able to find then the equivalent mass of the system and the equivalent constant of the spring of the system.